everyone, I'm driving to Gatwick Airport. This is gonna be terrible quality because now I'm filming on my front camera. But um, today I'm doing a super exciting video. I booked the cheapest flight video. Um, so it's a video I've wanted to do for so long. And now I'm back in the UK. I am in Europe, which means I can fly to Europe, to places in Europe super quick, um, super easy. And I'm not gonna actually tell you guys where I'm going today because I'm gonna keep it as a surprise till I get there. But I literally booked this flight on um, Sunday evening and it's currently Tuesday morning. So yeah, I think this is probably like the most last minute flight I've booked. I'm having kind of a pinch me moment this morning because I am so lucky with my job that I get to just like work from anywhere and just literally have my own schedule that I could do this. And I just wanna say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed because I'm doing this to make content. Content creation is my passion and doing YouTube full time is like literally my dream. So being able to like do something that gets me closer to that and having the ability to do that, I'm just so, so lucky, so grateful. Anyway, I'm not gonna go on about it more. I'm just very happy right now. And I'm gonna have the best two days in this place. I'm gonna stop yapping now. I'm a yapper. Let's, let's go. five past five right now so like there's an automatic barrier is the barrier gonna go up or like do i have to wait until half past for the barrier to go up oh this is giving me stress <laughs> why do we like worry about such stupid things but i can't turn around so like if the barrier doesn't go up that's so embarrassing let's see Oh my god, it went up and it said my name on the screen. Guys, I'm so happy. Oh, lovely lady, thank you for letting me go. Right, now what do I do? Staff parking only. Oh, okay, cut, cut, customer, customer parking ahead. Uh, zone B, open zone, do I go here? Ah, I don't know. This is so confusing. I mean, it's really not confusing. But I've actually not parked in this car park before. Like I've parked in another car park. Do I just go around this? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I just find myself a spot and just park. Yeah. The, the Gatwick car park I went to before. Like I don't think it was an official one. And you just like give them your. Do I give them my keys? Yeah, I gave them my keys. But this one, you literally just find a parking space and that's it. So. There's like a free shuttle. Me right now to try not to try and not get wet. I literally just missed the bus. I'm so sad. The shuttle, the free shuttle to get wet. I can take this off. I'm on the the um, shelter now. myself an iced caramel latte and my fave almond croissant. I'm excited to eat this. I'm just a South Terminal. So you might have tried to guess where I was headed, but I bet you didn't guess Prague. I'm so excited to be in the Czech Republic. Um, I've been here before, but only once when I was younger. So it's so nice to be back. The one-way flight was the cheapest when I looked on Sunday. It was £50 with Wizz Air. But I know that usually you can get cheaper than that from Wizz, like £20. But that was the cheapest that was available at the time that I booked. I'm so excited to be here because my nan and her family are actually from Prague. Had a bit of a fail. I packed a summer dress because it's so warm here to change into. And I ironed it before I left. Of course, it got completely creased up. Look at this. So this is a bit embarrassing. Um, I'm going to be walking around Prague town centre with a hugely creased dress. Everyone's going to be judging me. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I can't check in my hotel yet, so I just dropped my... Um, 
my backpack there and I'm gonna go find something to eat now. I'm gonna go see if I can find Czech dumplings because they're my nan's fave. She actually does uh, make them for me at hers in England. Um, but I wanna try like authentic, not that hers aren't authentic, but I wanna try them like in Prague. So I'll let you know how they taste. I am so blessed with the weather here today. It was raining in England and it's just so nice and sunny here. So this is a place I found online. It's like a pub vibe, but you pub vibe, but you get food as well. So I just ordered Czech dumplings. It's like a beef uh, goulash. I'm super excited. Uh, and I asked the waitress to recommend me a beer, and she said it has to be a pilsner or something like that. So anyway, I'm gonna try a nice beer. It's super loud in here, so I don't know if you can even hear me. Oh, so the way this place works, if you don't have a reservation, you can just find, thank you, you can just find uh, a table. They all are like reserved, but at different times. So this is reserved from half one, it's half 12 now. So I've got an hour on this table before someone comes. So you just literally walk in and just find a table and see what the time is on the re reservation sign. Which is weird, because in England, if a table has a reserve, you just can't sit there at all. But um, yeah, it's different here. These are traditional Czech dumplings, like the ones my nan makes, and I'm really excited to try this, it looks good. I just arrived at my room. Um, that beef goulash, like, with the Czech dumplings was so good, but I could not eat that all, like, it was so big. She came and got it, she was like, did you like it? I was like, I really liked it, it was just too big. That was, like, enough for two people. Um, yeah. I'm full now and it's such a nice day as I keep saying so I can't wait to go out and explore. Um, I'm just wanting to like check in to put my bag in here and freshen up a little bit before I head back out. Let's show you the room. This is the door you come in and I've never seen this in a hotel before. This is a microwave in the hotel. That's craziness. There's a kettle and this is like so good. It's a fridge, but it's like the biggest fridge I've ever seen in a hotel room. Look, and I bought a massive bottle of water. So I put that in there. Lovely. And then like there's even cupboards up here. That's a safe. And then this is where it gets a bit weird. This is, uh, oh, I need to put the thing in. This is just like a sink and a shower here. But then if you wanna to go to the toilet, there's a separate door over here for the toilet. I think this is quite common in some places. I know like in our house in England, we used to have this. Like when I was really young, we used to have a separate um, toilet. So I think that's quite a common thing in Europe, but not sure how I feel about this. Like if I was staying with someone, like, do I really want to see you sitting on the toilet? Not sure. <laughs> Not sure about that design. Bit weird. Um, very, very basic, guys. It was £40 for a night. So cheap. But yeah. Feels fine. Got fresh towels. Got a flat screen TV. And I'm right in the old town, by the way. Like, I can't believe how amazing the location is. We've got a table with two chairs. This is basically like a little flat. Actually, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uni accommodation. This bit really reminds me of like a uni room. There's so much storage. Ooh, nice little painting. It's like the weirdest layout I've ever seen. It's, it is like a mini flat, really. Like you've got a microwave, fridge, dining table, wardrobe. There's another bed there. There's a big bed here. Where I'm staying is like a 10 minute walk from Prague's Old Town Square. I'm gonna go explore there now, I'm really excited. Um, Old Town Square, I think from like the 12th century, it's been the most famous square in the city. It's like the center of everything. <laughs> I feel like I'm in some sort of like kingdom, castle kingdom right now. The old town square is absolutely stunning. We've got a big sun there, so it's like rubbish to film from that angle, but. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sit in the back of someone's photo. <laughs> I 
I honestly just want to spend my entire day in this old square. It's just so, so beautiful. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna go explore. I might come back here tomorrow actually and like get some lunch in this area because it's just, yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, let's go walk somewhere else. I just had to go into that Czech cookie shop. Not eating everything. Um, I'm joking, by the way, guys. This is a travel channel.